So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab. Now this lab is very tricky so you need to understand the concept behind this lab. First of all the first thing is that you here you will be able to see that here multiple dynamic tasks will be updated. So the first thing is that let's first of all sign in. So just use the username one to sign in. Okay, here you can see multiple tasks are here. Just paste it. Now just update the pass. Just click on I understand. And then just activate the cloud shell. So just activate the cloud shell like this. Here basically you have to just click on continue and then authorize yourself. So this will be step by step guide because many of you are facing some kind of issue and I have to address it. Now continue. And then just authorize yourself. the shell is ready first of all let me increase the font size now in the description box i have shared one github repository okay now here you can see multiple tasks are here so here how you'll find it you have to just copy the task number one just use ctrl f and find the task so here you have to just check it whether the first task is matching with which form id okay you can see here it is matching with form id 2 if it is matching with form id3 you have to just select it you have to just check like this you have to just check the task select the task and just from this repository you have to just find it okay and then you'll be able to just start the lab with that form id only okay so because here you can see this task number one is of first task in form id2 so we'll be using form id2 tutorial so here how to navigate you have to just click on this form id2 video Similarly, if it is a form ID 1, you have to just select that also. I have made a guide video also. I will link the guide video also in the description. You can watch it. Now, once you have selected. So here, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe it. Now, we will be using the GitHub repo. I will link the GitHub repo. Sorry, link the GitHub repo in the description box. Here you can see it is a form ID 2. Now, first of all, we need to export the zone. Copy the zone over here. Now for finding the zone, come to the setup challenge scenario. Now here after equal to carefully paste, paste the zone and then just paste on your cloud shell. Now again come to the github repo and run the second command and just paste on your cloud shell and hit enter. Now wait for this command to execute and then we will get 75 out of 100. For the rest 25 points we have to do one task manually. One more important thing is that you have to just navigate to that task by you have to just navigate like by task by task okay so here we have multiple tasks and each time this challenge lab gets updated so as i said you have to just check the task number one use ctrl f and find using which task is present on your task number one match with the github repo and then click on the video url you will be redirected to that particular solution that's how we have to complete this lab now this will take five to ten minutes so just wait for it
here you can clearly see all these tasks have been completed now if you try to check the score you will not get 100 out of 100 you will only get 75 of 100 because here one task basically the task number three of the entry group is missing you have to just create it manually and uh, basically the dataplex ui is also changed so i'll tell you how you can complete it also it is a part of pre so just syllabus. stay tuned and i am going to tell you how you can complete this particular task okay the console and in the search box you have to just type entry groups if you are able to see the entry groups like here we are unable to see so just type dataplex only and then you have to just click on universal dataplex catalog now from the left side you can see let me show you from here you can see the wait a second here on the top you can see the catalog option on the manage metadata you have to just click on it okay so just click on the catalog option okay just click on the catalog option and you will be redirected to here now from here you can see the entry groups option is here just click on it here click on create entry group data catalog now just click on proceed now here basically for the name again come over here copy the name carefully do not make any mistake copy it update the region as per the lab instruction it's us os 20 in my case you have to just come over here and just check the region okay just check the region and then you have to just click on create and once it's created will be done with the lab guys so you can just check the score just check the score and finally we are done with this lab this particularly works on form id 2 if you are getting another form id try to get the form id 2 i have shared the steps how you have to just complete it now just end the lab and here you will get the skill badge without any issue if you have followed the way so if you click on the course you can see here that we have got the badge okay here we got the badge without any issue so thank you guys have a great day ahead